these things help me gear up get my eye level just get back into the game get in a groove just get used to things and try to keep up with everybody who's playing it more seriously so let me hop in the game real quick and i'll show you a few things something that helps out a lot Must while you're starting out about? is that if you come up to velo here you can purchase a item that gives you all the conduits that you need and it brings it up to 226 item level so purchase that and then you can just apply it right over here if you're into pvp if you go in orbos talk to the uh, guy right next to the pvp vendors here you get your uh your quests you get your quests you keep up with your honor you keep up with your conquests and if you get those up as much as you can you'll have enough saved up for the conquest gear i offer only the finest and the honor gear right now on this ult i have a bunch of honor gear so i have to slowly upgrade it you gotta get honor for it right next to the flight master and orbos you can purchase this and it raises your renown to 60 right off the bat for only 500 gold it's a lifesaver it saves you so much time Killing rares in Zerath Mortis gives you Cosmic Flux, which you can use for your tier sets, so you're going to want to do that as much as possible. <laughs> you see there I got 50 Cosmic Flux. But if you turn on war mode, you get extra. Obviously, if you turn on war mode, you get extra, but you end up having to fight over the rares with the other faction. Sometimes I find it better to just turn off war mode and then just get the rares for everybody. Look for the skulls around the map, get to it as fast as possible, kill the rare, and just build up Cosmic Flux as much as you can. Also doing quests and other little things throughout Zerath Mortis, you get Cosmic Flux anyways. So I wouldn't stress it too much. You build up a lot before you know it. Another little thing I almost forgot to mention is that once you do hit 60 on your ult, right here in Zerath Mortis, you can purchase these pieces of 226 gear for 500 anima, so make sure you get as much anima as you can throughout questing and doing dailies and every little thing you can. Antros, or whatever his name is, that spawns up here that you can do uh, once a week also there's gonna be a rare spawn or a elite quest however you want to call it in one of these other zones i think this time it was in ardenweald and i didn't even do it on this one yet so i gotta hop over and do that finishing this will give you 500 it says 250 but it gives you two of the 250 anima and that's a whole piece of the 226 gear to try to do these as much as possible you do this in intros that means it's two pieces of gear you press it on the map you go to find group easy now you got people here you can't be in queue for a dungeon or a battleground while you're doing this so you gotta join up get this done zones you right in my roots are strong and you will not stop me from defending this lane. Tendrils envelop you. Foul beasts. I am sorry. There you go. That's done. I 
also got a memory from that, so that's nice. Memories are what you use for your legendary items. So you have to go to the ring carver for all that. I'll show you where it is. You come through here, through Orobos. You get to this level. And then you just hop off. And that takes you to the mall. And in the mall, you gotta go down this way. Alright, we got all this. As you can tell, I don't spend much time in the mall. I don't have any of this discovered on this character. Go through this little portal here. Hang a right. Go through this portal. And there's the rune carver. Coming out of the rune carver, let's see, if you were to port in here, you would just keep going straight. This is Torghast. A Torghast is a good way to get Soul Ash, Soul Cinders, and Cosmic Flux, which is what you're gonna need for your legendaries. Uh, I wouldn't do this if you only need Cosmic Flux, because then you just get rares from Xerath Mortis a lot faster. I already have my two legendaries on this character, so I don't have to worry about that. From that BG, I got 50 Conquest and all that honor. All goods and services for Turn that quest in. And you just keep going. Alright guys, I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, it was just a small video I wanted to make. Because those are things that really helped me catch up and keep up in uh, World of Warcraft right now. Uh, obviously things are going to change as the new expansion comes out. And uh, there's more things to do. But as of right now, that's what I've been doing. Doesn't mean it's the best thing to do or the most efficient thing to do. But it's what I've been doing and it seems to be working alright. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.